Can Empire stop this? They've got they've all got the options available. Some out. They cannot afford to lose their axe at 16 minutes in. Look at that. Southside Tormentors in. Did have the aphotic shield upon him. Now look for the Nightmare onto the Abaddon. They want to try and finish off at least the bear. It's getting pretty low and they will kill it. Get the 300 gold bounty, but it cost them the life of Ghosting. The boat is coming through. Oh, Yoku will get caught out. Mid one and Puppy right click him down. He should tick down here to the end, and he does indeed. Maposhka gets the Fiend's Grip off, but overall Empire, they've lost two. Maposhka, he'll be chased down by Puppy. They've got the X mark back from Mid one, dragging him in. Cask and Maledict's out to FN with the Death Ward as well. Empire, they've lost three. They'll lose FN as well. Double kill for Yapsor. I think this game's actually. The track over. kill's rolling in as well with that. There's a 14k lead. Still got the Phantasm available. Find FN. They've got the control. But the BKB comes out in time. Burrow Strike as well. They're trying to turn the best they can. Ice Blast does come in across on Safada. But Ace just rips through Yoku. Sonic Wave comes out. Ace falling rather low. Mid one. Zips in, zips out with the Icarus Dive. Nyx is going to tick out once. Reincarnate is popped. Aquatic Shield onto Ace. Secret's starting to back up. They want Ace's heart regen to tick in before they re-engage. Or maybe not. They just see an opportunity to jump in straight away. Ace has got the control. They take down FN. The Phoenix Sun is going to be successful as the Sun comes out. Ghosting held in place as well as Nyx on the Wraith King. This Borden is going to be a team wipe. Secret cleanup. There is nothing that Empire can do at this stage. Now they're going to get spotted. Mid one is invis up. They're going to see everyone here. They jump on the puppy. Can they kill him off quick enough? No, they can't. There's a jump through the epicenter's big cargo ray dead. And look, the last two doing nothing at the moment as you just get shredded through. Free dead already. In the meantime, Moogie, you need to run. You've got the mana back. TP out as fast as you can. They have got the stun though. Double kill for Ace and four dead on the side of Newbie. But it might be five. SC, he's trying to run away. He's trying to turn around the yap. So there's a stun. He's like, it's okay. We can keep this going. Stun's coming off cooldown, but we don't even need it. The right click secure. And it's a team wipe. I'm around the back. These supports are very edible, and all the cast pounds are through. They're going to catch two. There it is. You're going to four stuff back, but Kaka's dead as well. And now you have to keep Moogie in. Like, is it, what are they doing? You shouldn't be here right now. You got the gaze, but you just need to use it defensively and move the hell away. But you can't. There's a lasso coming through. They actually stone up Ace, but look at this. It's just protected from the glimmer and all the sparks of the Devil War. But no one cares. The Epi's okay, GG. It. They've had enough. 21 minutes in, and this feels like maybe our most one-sided match so far today. That was something else. Newbie just... Waiting for Newbie to get impatient. Now the impatience gets him in level 2 epicenter. No! He, he, he misses it up and now there's initiation. Puppy stun on mobile here. It's SEC. He's dying pretty quick here. That amplified damage is too much. Is he going to live off? The Yule protects him for a little bit of time. The Ravage coming out. It's huge. It catches level 5. They use the Shallow Grave. Now about to run out. SEC is maybe going to die. Yes, he does. But it eats the cheese. Stay alive. But taking a lot of damage from Memophis. And now... KP dies off on the back foot, Ace turns it around and says, Hello Moogie, let me spill your blood all over your face. And he didn't get the thunder off. It was interrupted by the Lincolns. GG gets called. Newbie have had enough and secret. They take a convincing maybe kill him. There should be enough damage. He needs to tap right now. Hit him so far the away. There it is. He gets the enough. kill. Doesn't even need the tree. But meanwhile, on the tower, looks like Fala in a little bit of trouble. He walked off. And now Puppy, he wants to stand his ground. DD on him. Mind control doing a lot of damage. Walked off. But they're chasing off for more. They oh want it my. all. Matu next on the hit list. That IO that we said went back so early. He might be in trouble too. Is he fighting? No, he went back to base in the end. He TP'd out because it looked like he was being pressured by Ace as well. How this is physically possible for that? Man, to get that thing to that, get inside a bird. Yeah, exactly. Or any of these. Like, oh, speaking of people, they want to get inside. They want to rip apart Kuroki here. Double gang is not oh. going Even though he gets caught out and he gets dragged back as well. Mid one says, Blood, blood, give me more blood. Matu, the chase, another tower. Your rage is about to run out, but the primal will go now to fight out. Look oh, at the it. E on this. Oh, it saves his life. And now, Matu, he's like, Fight me, mid one. Mid one's fine. I'll take out your support first because I know he's keeping you alive. GH can still below. They're going to finish him off. They do check down. And now, Matu, you're alone in your own base and you just can't. Can't fight them, Ace. Trying to finish the kill. Won't chase, though. They decide we're getting a little bit low on HP. Let's back away right now. Oh. Now they're actually coming on that bomb. <sighs> but the man died still. Yeah. Oh. He died. Oh, no. Heen. Oh, they're going to lose everyone. Heen. Oh, he Heen. The rage. The death board. Oh, the death board. Nice. Yours and now mid one says Yeesh. more kills. DG. Oh. They've had like, As soon as the Maldit goes on. You but, can't stay around. I mean, well, with GH there, you've got sort of the sustain to counteract. That's so. true, but the Earth is scary as well, hell. And now, Fada, they move in, they use the Ravage, Mind Control. Can he stay alive? He's the last two. He's like, fine, you want to fight? But I'm buying time because mid one comes in the back, cuts off Heen. Fada stays alive. Groki, you need to run quickly because you're about to lose all the help you had. The Death Ward goes down. It's going to be free dead on the side of Liquid. Oh, and no. now, Matu, run. 
Run fast. They might actually go for the toss in with Puppy there. There it is. Get Alley across in. there. GH, you're next on the scoreboard to end up shaded out as, as another dead on the side of Liquid. And, oh, a Roche. Oh. Looks like the best secret will do. They'll just try and slip a bit. No, nope. oh. there's a jump in. Elastic coming through on a Kuroki. If they can find this kill, it's going to be a good one. But there's a relocate again. They get him out. Matu going to run off quickly. Dean, he still has a static storm. There's the cooldown. But now Ace jumping straight in the raid. And Rage already used. What? And the pause? What is this? No, disconnect. But I mean, he already got the enrage off. This is not looking because Dude. I don't know if mind control can move away quick. He got the blink, so if, if they don't if quickly, he's gonna blink. No, they don't even focus on him. They're like mind control. That's not a problem. I see. Kuro's gonna come in from the back. He's no. gonna see if he Kuro? can find him. He goes for the rage. Gets the ace. This is not the right move. The death ward coming out as well. They're gonna lose one. Now they're gonna lose GH as well. In the meantime, mind control. You're all alone. Ravage actually gets expended. Just thinking the Isaac kill. He'll feel it's worth it, but he will give his life for this as he dies off as well. The maledict to ensure that he'll never regen enough. And as a team wipe, four and a half now they look they look to two more tiles. I mean, they've got the Aegis, they've got the cheese now. This is, you know, again, this is it. Well, they gave the Aegis to Tiny, and oh, look at that, the jump in. Can they get the combo puppy? Meanwhile, they're backline being cut by mid one, and now the Ravage, too late to actually stay the Disruptor. They can chase straight in. Can they get the combo mid one? He's still got the Aegis, even if you get him down. The Death Ward. Yabsa says, I need to increase that KDA. He's going to get another one, as they lose three already on the side of Liquid. Now you need to run quickly. Matu, this is a big PKP, but it's already ran out. Fada holding him up. Mind control. Blinks away just in time. The PKP by Fada now. The toss for as well. Yabsa. He says, throw me deep. Let's find more double kill for Ace. And mid one finishes it off. As they kill the whole team, GG gets called and secret. Toward bottom. How do Fnatic stop this sort of a push? It just seems that it's the, the five man onslaught that secret can bring. And it's just too strong for yeah. Fnatic to just deal with at all. And Ace's, Ace's damage is yeah. insane right now. I think he has the full data list being delivered in a second, too. And I believe. Yapsor, is that Yapsor's Aghanims too? Okay, he's just shy of the number of players. 22k lead, they're looking to close this one out. Yeah, they are. Into the base they go. Tier 3 tower, Fnatic will fall. Arved tries to head forward just at the back of the repel from Pi. But with the tower gone, the rags are exposed. Secret move in. Fnatic, what can they do to stop this? They'll drop the walls down. Looking for Puppy, but Puppy's got the Crimson Guard. Flies himself out of the trees. Envy will put the BKB for the Blocks DJ. Arbet gets left though. They have the control from Fada. The right click remains for too much. It's Arbet will fall. Buys back immediately. Envy trying to man fight up on a Yapsaw. But the Crimson Guard just alleviating any of the damage to this BKB Lincoln Sweeper can do at this stage of the game. The GA comes out, but Pi gets nuked down by the Solar Assumption. Mid one with a double kill. GG is called. Game one is well and truly over. As Secret take the lead here in this best of five grand finals in game one. This was... And now they've got to make sure that they're ready with their second lives. And mid bomb, still with the Aegis, ready to play aggressive on bottom. Yeah, and DJ's just had these Ancients up top pretty much in the last 15 minutes of the game, just trying to keep this split push going. But every single time, Secret's there to respond with these all these boots of travels and ways to catch and we'll grab Dragon before it gets sent home. But now, they go, they're in the high ground, they've got creeps available in the base. In a moment, Backdoor does kick in for a second, but the creeps are coming in. Universe did manage to get out to the shop, has got the Silver Edge. All right. He's on his way back, but the tier three is falling. Secret of Exposed, a second set of racks. And they're not looking to back up anytime soon. Universe is going to try and look for an opening. Goes on to Waste, does manage to get the Silver Edge hit, but he's still pretty tanky. Is he tanking up? He's falling pretty quick, actually, but Ace. He's Glimmer Cave, gets the sidelines, will be able to keep himself alive now, Fada jumps in. Lasso wants to Envy, holds the lone druid in position. The Hanukkah comes out from TJ, they're trying to save their members, but Puppy's in with the epicenter, straight on top of TJ, Arbed. Timber change across, but Fnatic, they've lost two. No Envy, no TJ, no Pylai die. As Arbed and Universe, the only two left alive, they'll get themselves back to the fountain. The Secret have all the space in the world to take a second melee rack. And with like the Silver Edge and Penitence, they're almost able to bring down Ace, but then Yapsor, he's got a cheese. So Tethers, cheeses Ace, all the way back up to full health. And now they're looking to get the final set of racks. Arbed's trying to play around with them. Universe does have the combo onto, you, onto Puppy, but it's not quite enough damage to get that kill. Puppy will survive. Mid one and Ace focusing objectives straight up to the third and final set of tier threes and racks. As they'll take down the tower, look towards the racks. Fnatic with no buyback on Envy or such. Even though that probably does not matter at this stage, they cannot hold this push. Universe gets around it. He will look towards Fada, but again, the Glimmer Cape keeping him alive. Universe is now the one in trouble. 
He's Jules Dove. He'll turn with a couple more punches, but he will fall. Universe down for seven. He mid one cleans up the final set of racks. As Fada BKBs, TPs out. Fnatic just can't get a single kill. I'm going to pick it up. Secret. With the smoke, will they catch any? Fada just sort of baiting out a play down bottom. Ace and Yapsa will reveal themselves. They're up onto the base of Fat Fada, just blink straight in. They're onto the tier 3 tower. Fnatic, they have to answer this if they want to keep these racks alive. Ace starting to beat down upon them. They sell onto Fada. They have got a good ice blast coming in from the side. We'll catch on to three of them. But no real follow up. And in fact, Yapsa, he's going to be the one to blink in. Telekinesis onto MV. MV backs himself away. There's the jump in. MV goes for the MV. Have they got the damage to bring down this target? They've got an arm fight from Universe. They'll be able to take down Fada. He'll get Ace his Aegis. Mid one with the BKB trying to move forward, but with the BKB's up on Arbed and Envy, they can chase towards mid one. Ace is surrounded up, he's trapped, he will pick up a tree, look for the escape up with the Cypher. They're bringing Ace down low, he'll try and get himself out with the Invis from the Shadow Blade for the Ghost. They're bringing him so low, can they finish him off? Pyro with the right, this universe comes in, but instantly with a lift from Yap, so they grab the nature from it, hold him up. Ace will still survive. Arbed falling, it's incredibly low, hit the turret, is it enough to kill him? There's the jump off Yapsa with the Crypt Storm, and Yapsa cleans up, he's gonna get by as well. So they're chasing him down, takes out the AA, they found four, DJ, the last one left alive, but the torrent's through, another track kill for Secret as they find DJ, triple kill for Yapsor. The most ideal situation there for Fnatic, they get pretty much the perfect fight coming in with that, with the nullifier as you pointed out, cancelling that BKB initially, but the strength of Secret with this advantage is way too much for Fnatic to deal with one that have five acts, low. And they're gonna throw everything on in this. They want to protect the buyback from Arbet. We are going to see the Burrow try come forward. Fada well, jumping as one now, Arbet will buy back. They know that they have Jesus on Tuesday to find some kills. Fada pops the BKB, looks towards Envy. Envy, he's going to get himself back to base. Is he going to be able to make the miss? He will survive, but they've lost the AA. And they'll lose the Rex as well. Secret. Taking the melee. Now looking towards Arbet. Next mark set up. The self yours, in fact, he's just going to jump forward. The ghost thing comes forward. Hey, I'm going to the BKB, but they've lost DJ. Both supports down for a, a fair bit of time. Arbet trying to walk himself back to base, but Fada, he's all built up the damage with the static link. Universe, the back line MV. Universe does get caught out as he was trying for Mipon, but Mipon with that armlet, able to keep himself alive. TP's back to base. He's got the X mark to bring him back in. As they'll clean up that bottom set of racks. Secret now with a 27,000 gold lead. And Yapster on this Rubik just styling, getting these instant jumps, getting the Ice Blast deal as well. Look at his net worth, top four on this Rubik. And they're ready to look for a second set of racks. Sorry. Connecting onto where VR, they're trying to slow them down with a the multi-man silence. The mid one just chunking through the creep waves with this Crystalis one shot and they're gone. There's the combo. Telekinesis Ice Blast attempted onto MV. Post the BKB. Trying to run himself away from Fada. He'll make it. Does get back to the fountain. But he'll have to wait there a few seconds whilst that Ice Blast debuff is upon him. It's an Aghanim's Blast too, so it does last a lot longer. And you blinked it and gets it. I mean, he's absolutely going to stay absolutely well. In fact, he may. He may live out of this one. Yamsu trying to get himself back. No, he does fall. Arbet trying to get himself back. The BKB self kills. He's so low here. The ghost have to count out. They did struggle here massively against Secret in the 3-0, but they had their highlights elsewhere. But for now, Secret are your champions of the Corsair Dream League Season 9.